What's up everybody? Well, I got another unboxing video for you guys today. My new monitor just came for the secondary computer and I decided to go with this Xenion Flex. First time I saw it, I thought it was really cool. Now it might not be the best monitor ever. In fact, there's one big thing that most people are, are gonna be turned away by, but we'll get that to that a little later. But for now, let's just quickly go over all of the silly stuff on the box before we start opening it. So you really just have all the specs right there and the technical specs as well. So that's nice. Then it even tells you that's an LG display, OLED, 45 inches diagonal. It's 3440 by 1440, 240 hertz. It can be flat or it can have a 700R curve, 0.03 millisecond response time, and NVIDIA G-Sync compatible. It has 100% sRGB, uh, 1.5 million to one contest ratio, Corsair software. It's got a bunch of HDMI stuff on it, including Type-C port. It's got that OLED pixel refresh, just like my C1 TV does. It does come with a three year dead pixel warranty. And it also has FreeSync Premium, which is what I need now since I've got the 7900 XTX. So now that we've gotten that simple stuff by the way, why don't we get to actually unboxing this thing? Now, let us get to opening this thing. And I'm glad I glanced at it. At first I thought I was just supposed to take the feet out, but there's stuff on the top they tell you to take out first. So, we'll go halfsies. Get that side. And then we'll come on over here and continue. And there we go. Oh, we got more tape. Misty heard tape, so she's like, well, here I am. Well, how am I supposed to open it now, Misty? Are you gonna open it for us? Yeah? You gonna open it? All right, well, I need you to get down so I can actually open the box, all right? I know. She didn't really not wanna go. All right. Oh, that's what's going on. All right, so what do we get in the box? Now I'll get out of the dang camera's way. So we've got the power cable right here. Pretty chonkers, but it's a pretty chunky, basically almost a TV, more than a monitor. What else do we got in here? We have we our product documentation. Misty, don't go in there. <laughs> and then, oh, Misty. You're so silly. All right, then we got the power cable cord. I'll put that up there next to that. Well, let's just come over here now. That way I'm not just stepping into the damn camera constantly. Then we've got ourselves a USB to USB-C cable right here. We've got a USB-C to USB-C cable here. We have a DisplayPort 1.4 cable, I believe. Now I'm betting you this one's an HDMI. Yep, HDMI 2.1 cable. Certified high speed. And then I think the last thing in here, yep, is the, is the base. And we'll get all this stuff unwrapped so you guys can get a better look at it once we get a little farther. But now that we got that out of there, that's all there is. I don't see anything else to unbox off the top. So let's get this thing the rest of the way unboxed now. Well, all right, let's finish unboxing this thing. Now the thing on the side of the box said to now take this off. So can do. Wow, that is super staticky. Got that close to my hair and it made all my hair stand up on end. And then it tells you to take these things all out. Maybe. How do these come out? Well, I don't know how they come out, but they came out my way. Ha, <laughs> one's already missing. Ugh. Oop. Okay, nope, I didn't break my damn cup holder. All right, we got all those guys out. Now we can probably lift that off, I'm guessing. So let's just 
plop those on the side like that. Man, they were very smart with this. I wish my TV unboxed like this. I could have probably done it by myself then. So, there we go. There's the first look at the back of it anyway. So now, we can also go ahead and take the protective thing off the front of the monitor. And then, just really quick, let's unwrap the bottom thing, because I'm going to put that on off camera real quick. I just want you guys to see what it looks like before it gets a, a monitor put on it. So, here's what the base looks like. And now, I'm going to take this thing the rest of the way out, put this base on, and then we'll be right back. All right. We got the base on, which was actually really easy. You just have to, get, getting it out of the dang uh, styrofoam over there was harder than putting the base on. But yeah, you just put it on the two little stands, bend it over a little bit, put your hand under there, screw a little screw like almost every other face amount. So now let's get this over. Oh, Misty's home over here. Don't you suffocate on any of this stuff now. I should have cleaned it up, but let's get this off of here real quick. Oh, is there some tape? Or something. Here we go. Now we'll get that out of the way. And there we go. There we go. There is the Z 45 inch Xenon Flex. So now I'm actually going to take the camera off instead of trying to manhandle this thing and it maybe drop it don't want to do that so i'll just take the camera off and i'll show you around the ports and whatnot well all right now we're down on the floor to bring you these ports so at the top here we have an hdmi 1 then you have an hdmi 2 then you have your display port then you have a USB C, which says five gigabits per second then you've got two more usb ports which are five gigabyte per second and then another USB C port at the bottom and then at the very 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 bottom here you got your power so now that we've gotten all that out of the way why don't we go ahead and get this thing hooked up and get it turned on for the first time well all right guys let's peel this plasticky stuff off of here And there we go. And Misty hears that and she's like, ooh, I want. So now, why don't we go ahead and turn this thing on? Well now, it is time for the first power on, so let's go ahead and power it on. Hopefully it works. All right, cool. So that's all good. Now can we go into our display settings? Bam. Awesome. Ooh, I didn't think about that. I should have actually made it curved before setting it up there. I don't think I can actually do it up there with my uh, computer case there so hold on a second we're going to get that into its proper form so it'll actually fit where it needs to fit i'm almost never going to use this thing like that anyway it's just nice to know i can but anyway i'm gonna go do that real quick and then we'll be right back well there we go guys we've got it into its final form the 800r curve the way i would like it at least i think i got it right is this one completely where it needs to be I think so. It looks a little funny for a second, but I think it's, yeah, it was just because of the angle. If I go over here, it looks correct. 
It's just, it feels like you're going to break the son of a bitch. But I know it can do it. It's just kind of weird to bend your monitor. So took me a second to, you know, make it work. Hello, Misty. Are you tired of your box already? Anyway, so now why don't we go ahead and hop into a game or something? Well, first, let's talk about the one elephant in the room, the pixels per inch. So from all the way back here, doesn't look so bad. Now, if I get up where I would be sitting playing a video game, yeah, all the text does not look very crisp. It looks kind of shitty, to be honest, but I didn't get it for the clear pixel. I got it for the OLED, the perfect blacks, the instant response time, the HDR, pretty much everything else that makes OLED awesome. And the 240 hertz refresh rate. Yeah, I know not every game is going to get there, but it's nice to have it. But now that we've talked about that, why don't we go ahead and hop on into a game. All right, guys. I figured let's do a tiny bit of some ratchet and clank here. So I figured I'd show the settings we're going to run with. Since I'm not screen recording, I turned HDR on. And it's on TAA. We're not going to use any upscaling right now. And then here's the settings I decided to use. Can't try ray tracing. It just doesn't work on AMD yet, I guess. And all right. Now, let's go hop into the game and we'll see how it looks and how it plays. All right, guys, here we go with some Ratchet and Clank. Pretty much maxed out minus the ray tracing. Wow, I haven't seen these guys. Yes, folks, we have a momentous day ahead of us. Starting with me. And ending with a surprise gift from Clank to Ratchet. Oh dear, must he tell the entire galaxy? Wait, the kid? Absolutely. For what? Oh, you will see. It is awaiting us at the front of the parade. Alright, now my character is good and dizzy. Smash some stuff up. With Damn right they did. I hope this is not about your gift. Hurry, we must get to the front of the parade route. Well, it's a good thing we've got those boots. They would not be very fun.
Considering that our event seems to be under assault, I will cut to the chase. Ratchet, I do not know where I would be. Alright, though. Why don't we go ahead and move on to a different kind of game? Alright, now for a little bit more of a darker game, let's go with some Diablo 4. So we got it on the correct GPU, seeing as though this is the only GPU in the system. It's one good thing about having only one. <laughs> got HDR on. Got it basically maxed out. And there we are. So now, why don't we go ahead, hop on into a game, and just get a little bit of some gameplay here. Well, all right. Let's get ourselves a little bit of some gameplay now. Oh, let's also give us some stats so you guys can see what stats it's getting. Out of fear. I am out of fear. 
Give me that fear. Give me that fear. Easy up, easy up, easy up. Easy up. Easy up. try a different character for the season. I just used my old character just to get you guys some footage real quick. This is not a seasonal character. I get for not fully exploring places. I think that's plenty of gameplay so why don't we go wrap this video on up now well all right guys that is a wrap for this particular video this monitor is pretty awesome as long as you can get past the low dpi so if you like crispy text and all that stuff when you're on your desktop and all that stuff then this is probably not the monitor for you but everything else about it is awesome instant response time the colors are great it's not quite as good as my c1 or my Samsung OLEDs, but it's still very, very good. I think what makes it not look as good is the matte screen, but most people like matte PC monitors. That way, I mean, look at how little light is reflecting off of this thing. If I had my things like this pointed at my TV, all you would see is my lights. You'd be able to tell exactly what they are, like everything. This one, you just see a little light. But in any case, that is all I got for you guys for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And now I'm excited to make more videos with this computer again. So until the next video, Peace out, guys.